This is the solution to written homework 13. <clears throat> We're given the derivative of a function and the evaluation of a function at a particular point. This kind of exercise is called an initial value problem. The fundamental idea is that function f is the antiderivative of its derivative. So the antiderivative of 6x squared plus 3x plus 11 dx is 6x cubed over 3 so that would be 2x cubed and then plus 3 halves x squared plus 11x plus some unknown constant. So now, to figure out what the unknown constant is, we'll use this initial value. <clears throat> because we know that when we plug 5 into this, we're supposed to get 4. So as a result, 2 multiplied by 5 cubed plus 3 halves multiplied by 5 squared <clears throat> plus 11, there was a missing x here, plus 11 times 5 plus a constant is supposed to be 4. So 5 cubed, that's 125, times 2 is 250, plus 5 squared is 25, times 3 is 75 over 2, plus 55, plus C. So 4 is equal to, I'll use the calculator, 250 plus 75 over 2 plus 55, 342.5. plus C, so negative 338.5 is C. <clears throat> Therefore, the answer to the exercise is that the original function is 2x cubed plus 3 halves x squared plus 11x minus 338.5. <clears throat>so the next exercise is also an initial value problem we're given the derivative of n and we're given some specific information about n so given the derivative and this specific information we're supposed to find the original function n <clears throat> N of t is the antiderivative of the derivative of N of t. So 
should be a e to k t dt. So that means that n of t is a e to k t divided by k plus a constant. <coughs> And what we must do is figure out the values of A and K and C. <clears throat> so we're told that A is 100. So we know that A is 100. We also know at five days the cells are growing at a rate of 1,000 per day. That means <clears throat> that the derivative evaluated at five One thousand. <clears throat> so if we plug in a thousand, that's one hundred. k times 5 is 1,000. And we can solve for k from this. So e to 5k is 10. And then converting this exponential equation to logarithmic equation, That tells us that k is log of 10 divided by 5. <clears throat> now, taking this form and plugging in all of our current knowledge, We know that n of t is 100 multiplied by exponential of log 10 over 5 times, times t and then this is divided by log 10 over 5 and then plus a constant so a little bit of simplification would help so dividing by this fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal so that would be 500 divided by log 10 exponential log 10 over 5 times t plus a constant. <clears throat> and finally, to figure out the value of c, we'll use this piece of information. So given that there are 500 cells present at time 0, so that's telling us that for this n, when we plug in 0, we're supposed to get 500. So 500 is 500 divided by log 10 exponential of 0. 
plus a constant. <clears throat> so exponential of 0 is 1. So that's telling us that C is equal to 500 minus 500 over log 10. As a result, <clears throat> That means that n of t can be written as 500 over log 10 exponential log 10 over 5 t plus 500 minus 500 over log 10. And that's the answer to the exercise.